Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Brian and welcome to another Miraxotes reviews and how to's video. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the extended mouse mat from Reflex Lab. I recently received this as a Christmas gift, but it is something that I was of course eyeing before that. If you are a PC enthusiast like myself, then this is something you guys can really appreciate. But at the same time, uh, the reason you're watching this video probably is because you saw it and you want to check it out, get to know a little bit more about it before you possibly buy one because it looks pretty cool and you want to find out is it really as cool as it looks. One of my favorite YouTubers, Kyle with Awesome Sauce Network, actually featured this mouse mat in one of his videos back in December. Uh, you can check it out right here if you'd like. But I actually had my eye on this mouse mat before Kyle even put his video out, so I like to think that I found it first. Anyway, let's get started. Let's show you guys what this mouse mat is like, and uh, maybe you just might buy one for yourself after this. Alright, so here's the Reflex Lab huge gaming mouse pad that I'm assuming most of you watching this right now have seen on Amazon or somewhere else on the web. The mouse pad in this picture is all black, but they also sell one with red stitching for those of you out there with red and black themed systems, and I'll show you a picture of that in just a minute. According to their listing here on Amazon, the mouse pad measures 36 inches wide and 12 inches deep. The Reflex Lab logo is sublimation printed, which I had to Google to find out what it means. But uh, here you go. It's a printing process that uses heat to transfer dye onto materials such as plastic, card, paper, or fabric. Thanks, Google. Reflex Lab advertises professionally stitched edges and a thick rubber anti-slip backing. This mouse pad also claims to have a waterproof coating on it which you know I'm going to have to test out. And finally, we see that we can also get it with either red or black stitching around the edges. Unfortunately, as of the making of this video, they are currently sold out of these on Amazon, but if I pop over to Reflex Lab's website, they have some nice close-up shots of the red stitching. Now, just in case you were starting to wonder, Yes, I actually do have one of these mouse pads in hand, and as you can see, I got the all black one, as it matches my setup better. And when taking a tape measure to it, I found that my mouse mat was actually just a little bit shy of 36 inches wide. As you can see, mine measures about 35 and a half inches, you know, I guess to be really technical, it was like 35 and 9 sixteenths. But the advertised depth of 12 inches was right on. Moving on to the sublimation printed logo, it looks really nice, I think. The logo is sharp and clear, and unlike something that was screen printed on or whatever, I don't think this thing is going anywhere. I think you'll be replacing this mouse mat with something new long before this logo ever wears off. From here, I'd like to move on to taking a look at the stitching. As you can see here, the stitching looks to be very high quality. There isn't any fraying or anything like that at all. It's very clean and I feel it lives up perfectly to what's advertised. Flipping the mouse mat over, we see the rubber anti-slip backing, which I think feels really nice and just as high quality as everything else. I feel like it provides just the right amount of grip to my desk surface. It's easy to move around and adjust its position when needed, but it also stays right in place where you need it while in use. This mouse mat is plenty big enough to fit both your keyboard and mouse on it, 
And for those PC enthusiasts out there, I know what you're thinking. I know, I know, I need to get a new keyboard. I'm looking into getting a Corsair Strafe RGB sometime, or like a K70 or something, but man, those high-end keyboards are so stinking expensive. So baby steps, guys, baby steps. So now that we've covered all the aesthetic features of the mouse mat, let's see just how the mouse tracking is on it. First up is my Microsoft mouse that came with my keyboard. And as you can see, it tracks just fine. You can lift the mouse off the mouse mat, place it back down, and it tracks just as you'd expect it to. And now switching over to my Razer Death Adder Chroma. Okay, that was kind of weird. Uh, it, it should do well also as it is a much higher quality mouse than my other one and as you can see it tracks great also. Now some of you may be asking me why I even did this test. Well there is a reason. A few months ago before I got my death adder I bought a mouse pad with a wrist rest on it to replace an old one I had been using that was uh, ready for retirement. As you can see, my death adder tracks on this particular mouse mat just fine. I can lift it off the mouse pad and place it back down and all is well. Now for the reasoning behind this test. When I went to use this mouse pad for the first time with my old Microsoft mouse, I found that every time I'd lift the mouse off the pad, it would no longer track. As you can see in the video right now, sometimes it'll start working after a few seconds but other times it takes even longer. I mean, this was of course super annoying, which prompted me to look for something better. And now it's time for the fun part, testing out that waterproof coating. Personally, I try to keep drinks and stuff like that away from my computer, but since this thing says it's waterproof, you know, I, I, just, I just had to play with it a little bit. And to do that, I decided I'd take the mouse pad into my bathroom sink where we can check out its waterproof abilities. Check that out. Look at the way the water just rolls right off of it. I have to say that their claim of being waterproof has been confirmed. I mean, the water just runs right off of it. it <laughs> like nothing's getting wet at all. It's pretty awesome, actually. Well, there you have it, my friends. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please give this a click. And if you did not like it, you of course can do this one, but you're, if you didn't like this video, you've probably already navigated away from it by now. So if you liked it, click that one. And if you have a question or a comment for me, just leave it in the comment section down below and I'll do my very best to answer any questions you might have. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please click subscribe over here. Eh, where's my fingers? There we go. Click the subscribe button that I have here and subscribe to my channel and I, you will then get notified every time I upload a new video. Again, guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you all next time.